Hey guys, how's it going? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So I'm doing your, doing your daily tarot card reading for Tuesday, October 27th, and I'm using the Starseed Oracle card deck for you. And I pulled a really interesting card for you. I shuffled the deck, what I've got left of it anyways, and pulled this card, and it's called Lifting the Veil, which really reminds me of, um, you know, All Hallows' Eve, Halloween, where the veil thins, but I haven't read ahead in this card, so let's have a look in the companion book for you and see what it says. And I'm gonna try not to turn on my extra light because it's just obnoxious. So this is question everything and anything unaligned must go. So it's a little bit different than the preconceived notion of lifting the veil that I have. But anyway, things are not always as they seem. This era is one of uncovering mistruths so that we can remember ancient truths. Everything is in a state of recall and realignment. Anything that isn't in harmony with the planet will not survive. That goes for society and the world at large, as well as in our own lives. If you pull this card, you're being called to energetically scan your life for things that may no longer be a vibrational match for who you are and how you've grown. To dismantle the system and ways of being that once served you and others, but no longer do. Some star seeds are here to lift the veil between the seen and unseen worlds, to shine a light on things that are inauthentic or unaligned with the survival and well-being of Earth, to stand for and protect those who don't have a voice. And I'm really, really big on that. Really big on that, you guys. Um, to look deeper and question everything that previous generations did not some star seeds cannot tolerate things that are not congruent. They're here to bring society and humanity back into harmony with the planet and the creator at large. If we tolerate things in our life that aren't aligned and congruent with it, we add to that misalignment of the planet. You're being called to trust yourself, notice what's out of alignment, and then take the baby steps required to bring it back into harmony. This is not so easy. This is not an easy feat, but it's so worthwhile, both individually and for the planet. So there's a starseed soul inquiry here, and it's like, it says, what isn't congruent in your life? How are you being called to bring it back into harmony? So this is gonna be a really individual exercise, you know, and it's gonna depend on your life. Um, you know, there's things in my life that I have shed as I have moved forward on my spiritual path. And it mostly has to do with people and beliefs that I have held, you know. And it can be very difficult to release beliefs that you were brought up with. You know, uh, there's a, a lot of things that I could hold, for example. Um, but one specifically, and I'll, I'll talk about this one because it's so impactful for me because my children brought it up when they were in school. They were quite young. Um, I, they were given a talk about racism in school. And they came home and they were, they said to me, well, why does that even happen? Like, why is that even a thing? Because it never occurred to them to dislike somebody based on the color of their skin. And, you know, I was brought up you know, let's just say my father wasn't a very tolerant person and I always looked at him as a child and I did not understand why he was doing that. And I chose in that moment to not accept his belief that just because somebody had a certain skin tone that they were less of a person or deserved any less respect than somebody that had the same skin color as us. So I was really proud to see that evolution passed down to my children um, and beliefs like that, the point of that was they were saying like, well, why do people even think like that? And I'm like, well, people are brought up that way to believe that way. And depending on where you are in the world, it can be even more intense and it can turn into hatred. So, but if you have somebody that is brought up in that culture and everyone around them believes that people are less than based on the God that they pray to or 
you know, the color of their skin or any other cultural divide that separates people, how do you disenchant people of those learnings? You know, it can be very challenging, especially when people are not prepared to awaken. So there's probably things in your life that you might have been grown up trained to believe you know in like politics and the world at large and what is happening and you know there's more spiritual ways spiritual ways of connecting with people and places and energy and this is a really beautiful message to me is to start shedding those things that don't align with your highest message um you know, so I'm going to leave this to you guys to really sort out for yourself. And maybe there's things that you were brought up to believe that it's time for you to really discharge that from your life. So I'm going to leave it with you guys. And I really hope this was a motivational and helpful card for you because I think it's incredibly beautiful to start vibrating at a higher level. And if you're a star seed, you're here for a purpose and that purpose is love. So I'm gonna leave it there guys. Take care and have a beautiful day. Bye for now, bye.